I like this person's name. I like it. I like it a lot. Susanna Offenbacher. It's a good name. Ah, oh, I read it and I thought, mm, that's a good name. And I'm telling you, and I'm telling you, Susanna, it's a great name. What is your process typically for arranging? Do you use a specific notation software? If so, what do you use and recommend? Well, they're not a sponsor yet, but Finale I use exclusively and um, there are other arranging tools like a piano um, and occasionally staff paper but most of the time I open up Finale and I open up a program called Transcribe with an exclamation point and whatever song uh, I'm doing sometimes once in a while I will find an arrangement that I already enjoy some somebody covered it some indie artist did it maybe and I, I like that version of it and uh, so I'll kind of model it on that so whatever it is if it's the original or a cover already um, I'll open that up in transcribe which gives so many tools which make uh, my life really easy like you can slow it down without affecting the pitch you can change the key completely um, you can take different frequencies out that ends up being a little bit more gimmicky if you don't really know how to use it uh, but you can isolate like the bass if you need to or the, the higher stuff um, does a pretty decent job um, and it's just got like a keyboard on it so you can uh, isolate notes and, and kind of play it back if you need to. So I have that on one side of my computer and Finale on the other and uh, oh and you can loop sections that's another big big feature just have it play over and over if I need to really get it in my brain and then I can write it out. Um, that whole thing takes me not much time at all the, <laughs> the, the thing that takes me a long time is d just getting to that point. For some reason the like procrastination station is is big and I just like put it off and then finally when I sit down and start writing it takes maybe three hours and I'm completely done I mean that's, that's usually about the time frame maybe even a little less just like it, it streams out uh, if I'm being a little bit more uh, if it, well it depends on the song but but most of the time that that's about it um, the way I arrange is a very solid and steady bass line. If I decide it's not going to have a percussion aspect to it, then the bass line really has to um, be a percussive bass line and outline the um, rhythm. And then the melody is the melody, I don't change it. And the inner two parts just fill out whatever whatever notes are not in the melody and the bass. So once in a while that'll be the same note and I have to do the third and the fifth. Most of the time it's not and I just do whatever two are left. So there you have it. I mean it seems like it's kind of a science and that's because I do it so much now. Uh, as far as transcribing, I mean if I've heard a song enough I can usually sit down and just go for it. Uh, yeah. Um, for the more complicated stuff, I'll use Transcribe. That was a good video. Four minutes, come on. Susan, Susanna Offenbacher. Ask me another question, and I will answer it right away.